I don't use leather products either. Um, my first question from any designer when I speak to my stylist is, is this leather, when it looks like leather? Um, and if they don't know, they have to verify. Um, same thing goes with shoes, um, bags, anything that I use for any of the shoots I do or even just walking around in my normal life. Um, leather is not a part of my life anymore and it's okay and we're all we're all living and we're all like Sachin said we're all moving past and we can all buy beautiful things. I know what's being done to these animals. I would sit there and I would cry so much when I would see um, when I would see what would happen to these animals and they're innocent and they did nothing wrong. They have no voice. These animals are abused before we even before they even get to the chopping block. They are caged, they're poked, they are chained, leashed, put in tiny little cages. They can't stand up. They've never met their mother. They've never had milk from their mother. Um, they're pulled away from everything that you know, when, when someone is bored or born or an animal is, you think that their life is going to be amazing. It's just a fresh new start. But a lot of these animals are pulled away from their families. Well, there you have Sunny Leon talking exclusively to us about uh, her views on the use of leather and how it should be banned completely. You know, Sunny Leon is uh, an actress who talks to her mind and talks to her beliefs. Par adi rehti hai, and that is something that's really fantastic about her. And here Sunny Leon is saying that the use of leather is quite unnecessary, not just because you know, it can be replaced by various other materials considering the technology that we have today, but also because of the impact it has on animals and the environment at large and uh, you know more power to actresses like Sunny Leone jinke bahut sare fans hai bahut sare followers hai aur Sunny Leone uh, unke fans unke followers aur pure india ke public se yahi darkhwast kar rahi hai ki stop using leather it is not okay to kill animals for fashion and speaking of fashion i'd also like to highlight over here ki you know at the end of the day, uh, the fashion industry is one of the largest propagators of uh, the consumption of leather. And we as a people, we as an audience and we as consumers of fashion need to recognize that and stop that. And that is exactly what Sunny Leon is trying to do. She is taking her voice, she is her fans and audiences to say change that mindset. It's about time. We are not just harming ourselves, but we are harming the environment at large. And we'll get into what Sunny Leon had to say in detail. But in that way, there are many many celebrities and public personalities in India who have raised their voices against you know, animal testing, who have supported vegetarianism and veganism, and who have you know, uh, talked about how this uh, kind of um, you know, use of animals for our own benefit is not okay anymore. We're talking about actresses like Anushka Sharma, Shilpa Shetty, Mandira Bedi, Sonam Kapoor, uh, Aishman Khurana, who's been, uh, you know, the brand face for PETA, Richa Chadda, who's spoken against, uh, you know, the cruelty towards animal and has been a staunch supporter of PETA, John Abraham, who was uh, the first face of PETA in India, Imran Khan, who's also been a supporter of PETA, and of course, Shahid Kapoor, who's been a vegetarian and who has supported uh, animal rights ever since we have heard him speak uh, on a public platform. So more power to actors and actresses and celebrities like we mentioned. But like coming back to Sunny Leone, let's take a deeper look into what she had to say. I don't use leather products either. Uh, my first question from any designer when I speak to my stylist is, is this leather when it looks like leather? Um, and if they don't know, they have to verify. Um, same thing goes with shoes, um, bags, anything that I use for any of the shoots I do or even just walking around in my normal life. Um, leather is not a part of my life anymore and it's okay and we're all we're all living and we're all like Sachin said we're all moving past and we can all buy beautiful things um, and it doesn't need to hurt an animal. You know when you see when you when you actually see what happens, um, and I encourage everybody to, to take a look, ignorance is not something that we should have in our life. We should know the things that are happening around us. So I don't have leather in my life to, to answer your question. And a lot of these animals are abused before, we even, before they even get to the chopping block. 
they are caged, they're poked, they are chained, leashed, put in tiny little cages, they can't stand up, they've never met their mother, they've never had milk from their mother, um, they're pulled away from everything that, you know, when, when someone is born or, born or an animal is, you think that their life is going to be amazing, it's just a fresh new start, but a lot of these animals are pulled away from their families, they're pulled away, and then they're poked, and then they're killed, and some of these animals are skinned alive. They're not even given the humane approach of, you know, passing before they're skinned. So if all of us, or maybe some of us, maybe your circles of friends, we can all get together and say, hey, as a group, let's not use leather. This is what's happening. This is what's out there. They're screaming, yelling, their skin is being pulled off. There are animals that are shrieking, crying because they're not being treated humanely. Even wool, um, for that matter, is, it's unbelievable what happens out there to animals. I became, I stopped eating meat maybe about four or five years ago is when, you know, the light, <laughs> there's a switch. Um, and I watched, um, I watched dogs at the Yulin uh, Meat Festival being poked, boiled alive, burned alive, killed um, beyond imaginable suffering that was happening. And it was a really, really easy choice for me to say, uh, I don't, I, can, I just can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't look at it. I don't want to eat it. I have no interest in it. I know what's being done to these animals. I would sit there and I would cry so much when I would see um, when I would see what would happen to these animals. And they're innocent and they did nothing wrong. They have no voice. So um, that was when you know our relationship also had formed uh, here in India. And some of the videos that I saw here, very, very disturbing. Some of the cows, them putting mirchi in the cow's eyes as they're trying to herd them into one, you know, one area to another. Um, again, an animal screeching and crying is probably one of the worst sounds you'll hear next to a human suffering. Um, it's, it's that same sort of trauma. So that's how our relationship started. It didn't start you know, that good feeling, but now it's a good feeling that maybe we're making a difference and maybe one person at a time we can, you know, help them make a, diff a different choice.